you know, there's a lot of what I call double dipping going on within the trucking industry. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> there are some companies that, let's take the lease purchase, for example. Some companies will pay these lease purchase guys and even owner operators that you know, own their own truck. They'll pay them empty miles, deadhead miles, but they won't pay the first 50 miles, for example. Now, let's say that you take a load and you drop it off somewhere and then you take a couple of days off. Then your dispatcher dispatches you from, let's say, wherever you went taking your couple of days off. And then they send you over here to pick up, pick up a trailer to drop. Right, that's deadhead number one. And then they're going to send you from there all over to another location to pick up the load. That's deadhead number two. Instead of putting that together because it's one dispatch, instead of putting that together as one eddy, you're going from here, there, there. They deduct it as two. So they're taking away the 50 miles each time. So to go pick up the trailer that you dropped, they're going to deduct 50 miles from that. And then they go pick up your next load, they're going to deduct 50 miles from that. So when it should be one deduction, 50 miles, they're breaking it up so they get to take two deductions. Now, at the same time, if they give you a load that has two stops or even three stops, you're only going to pick up an extra $50 on average for each extra stop. It's costing you more than that in time and fuel to make those extra stops, but you're not being compensated for that. But you are being penalized for the deadhead, and that's that's what I'm calling double dipping. You know, it's uh, it's just another way to cheat you and me. You no, know, I, I disagree with it. I don't think it's right. I think it's uh, a practice that needs to be stopped. And it's not just that. I mean, you know, there's, there's other companies out here that you know, they won't pay you the, the fuel surcharge. Or they don't allow you to take advantage of the fuel discount that they get from these national brands. You know, you're paying at the pump price and they get the money in their pocket for this town. And then they're also keeping the fuel surcharge. Now some will give you one or the other. Others might give you both but then they're going to deduct from you somewhere else. You know, like I've said before, there, that there is no perfect situation. So you need to, number one, I believe, you need to find the programs, whether it's lease purchase program, whether you have your own truck on a lease on the carrier, you need to find the right program that fits you and your needs. And, and it's a big and, you need to do your homework. You need to make notes. I drove from here to here. This is my miles. I drove from here to here. This is my miles. I didn't get paid, you know, for all of these miles because you keep track of those miles that you're not compensated for and give it to your tax professional, your CPA, or whoever at the end of the year. <clears throat> and odds are pretty good that. They can take that off on your taxes 
because of that's that that's money that you earned, but you were not compensated for. All right, so keep track of those miles, all of them. All right. Also, you can also use those miles because if these carriers are paying the IFSA tax for you, number one, are they charging you an administrative fee for doing that? You need to know. Number two, are they overpaying on your IFSA, letting you pay, say, for example, the IFSA for some of their company trucks to operate? which still puts more money in their pocket. So are they overcharging you on this or are you maybe being neglected in other ways? Right? You know, watch what they're taking out from you. You could be losing money and not even Keep track of your miles, keep track of your expenses, make notes, review your settlement sheets. I know what the numbers are. I've said this a million times, but I've said it once. Your numbers won't lie to you. Pay attention. You know, uh, dispatcher might say, Well, I'm going to pay you to, to deadhead from here to here because your load up there canceled on you. And I'm going to give you an extra $50 or an extra $100 or whatever. That's all well and good. But number one, make sure you've got it in writing, preferably in an email. If you can't get an email, if they send it to you, like through a tablet or something, take a picture of that so you can have the date and time that that was sent to you. Keep that for your records. All right? You know, trust no one. Verify everything, okay? That's just, in my opinion, good business. It ain't personal. It's just business. You guys be safe. Take care, and I'll see you next time.